Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at congruence of some plane figures, that is the figures which can be drawn on a plane, that is all those figures which you can draw on a piece of paper, they are all examples of plane figures. So what do you see on the screen? So in this, on the screen you do see a lot of different shapes. Now let us name these shapes. So in this, on the screen, what we are going to see is, let's say that we have this diagram. So this is a, a plane figure that we have and we have to find out if these figures, let's call this one, this is two and this is three. So we have to see out of these one, two and three, which of these are congruent to this plane figure and which of these are not. So while seeing this, we will also come across certain do's and don'ts to find out congruence between two figures. Now let us start with uh, maybe the figure number one. So there are certain do's and don'ts, certain things that we can do and certain things we can't do to prove congruence between two or to find out congruence between two figures. Now the do's would include rotation that means for example let, let's look at figure number one. So as it is if we do not make any changes, if we do not do anything with figure number one, do you think that this figure number one is going to be congruent with the given figure? Do you think so? No, because they will not overlap. If I just place this figure as it is on this one, they are not going to overlap. But the moment I rotate figure number one, somewhat like this, and then what happens? Then if you place it over our desired figure, then we see that they overlap, which shows that figure number one is congruent. So figure number one is congruent with the given figure. But in order to find its congruence, what we needed to do was we needed to rotate the figure and that is allowed. Why is that allowed? That's because we are not bothering the shape or the size. Now when we rotate a particular figure, we are not altering its shape, we are not altering its size. And in congruence, the, the two things that matter is shape and size. So shape and size are not altered and therefore rotation doesn't affect. So rotation is allowed. Now let's see what are, what are the don'ts, what are, what are those things which are not allowed. We are not allowed to twist a figure, we are not allowed to stretch a figure, we are not allowed to bend a figure. Okay, let's look at figure number two. So if you consider this figure number two, doesn't matter whichever way you try to rotate it, do you think that the figure number two will ever be able to cover the given figure completely? No, never. Because the when you look at the size of figure number two, it is very small when compared to the given figure and therefore they will not be congruent. However, if we are allowed to stretch this, that is if, if, if stretching is allowed, then I can stretch this figure till here, I can stretch its height till here and that's how I can make it congruent to the given figure. But stretching is not allowed. Now since stretching is not allowed, therefore this figure will not be congruent to the given figure because this figure has a different size than the given figure. Fine. Now let us look at the third figure. When you look at the third figure, if you try to place this figure on the given figure, what happens? You see that the shape of this figure is quite different. However, if we are allowed to twist, in that case, we can actually twist this arm of the figure because it is like kind of an L shape. So if we are allowed to twist, we can twist this L shape to form a rectangle shape right but twisting is not allowed therefore this figure is also not congruent so in this case this is not congruent because it has a different shape altogether figure number two is not congruent because it has a different size altogether but figure number one is congruent so whenever you want to try whenever you want to find congruence of two figures you can rotate the figure as long as you are not altering its shape or size but no twisting, no stretching, no bending is allowed. So let us look at more examples of congruence of plane figures. 
So look at these two aeroplanes. Do you think that they are congruent? Now, even though both of them are aeroplanes, but the moment you try to place one above the other, you get to notice the difference in their shapes. So when you look at the tip, you find that their tips are different. When you look at this edge of the aeroplane, you see that for the brown one, it is thinner and for the blue one, it is broader. So that means we see that they do not completely overlap each other because their shape is not same. So they have different shapes. So shapes are different. Therefore, they are not congruent. Look at this one. You have two circular shapes. So colorful circular shapes. Are they congruent? No, they are not congruent because they are of different size. And as we have learned, we cannot stretch them to alter their size. Their sizes are different. Therefore, they are not congruent. Look at the kites. So do you think that the, all the kites are congruent to each other? Definitely not. Because if you look at the sizes of this green, red, orange and purple kite, all of them have different shapes. So they are definitely not congruent. However, if you look at this orange kite and if you look at this kite, light brown kite, so they have got different shape and diff they have got same shape and same size. So therefore, we can say that these two kites are congruent. However, all others, because of their different sizes, they are not congruent. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.